Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Today we're back to playing Fire Survival. Uh, I, I played this one a, a while ago when it first came out around November 2nd. Uh, today is the November 14th. And um, it, this game just needed some work. I like the premise a lot. I'm excited about it. I want to see where the developer takes it. Um, and so I noticed that there are some changes. Uh, there were four new rooms, some optimizations, and then uh, the key finding... I'm not sure if you watched the other videos that I put out, um, but in the second video, I had an issue with uh, finding the key, so we got all the way to the end, and then it was like, oh, you need to find a key, and no one no one told us. So, um, anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Check out these new optimizations. Oh, Tavis. It's, it's been a minute. Huh. Okay, so that's new, a little bit. Uh, open inventory and use the key. flashlight huh does not seem to be working that's gotta be pretty important oh it's just on okay all right and so uh, yeah there we go fire extinguisher okay I haven't really changed let's see if this was changed it was changed love it okay that's a big it's a big improvement, you know, it's like a small thing, but just being able to press one and equipping it uh, while another one is equipped instead of having to unequip something, that's, um, it helps. Helps with the fluidity of inventory management, makes the game, um, I guess, you know, just like more of a modern feel. It's kind of what I've come to expect from playing games, certain small optimizations like that. Let's see about the sprinting, because that was like my biggest... No, he's still winded. He is gassed. Listen to him. Huh? No? Okay. I spoke too soon. I, I think he has more stamina. Um, he's just... He makes that sound for longer. <laughs> Alright, so we're going for the next room here. Equip fire extinguisher, although I'm pretty sure this is not... No, that's not a door right there. What is funny to me is that it says exit, but, um... I think the door is actually in here. Oh, boy. Getting messed up! Let's get out of here. Get our flashlight so we can see the next time we go <laughs> into a room to try to kill ourselves. All right, this is uh, this says exit. I don't know uh, what optimizations have been made exactly, but we'll see if we can find another door. No, we cannot. So let's just kind of go around. I don't think we'll make it on this this playthrough. Yeah. Oh, can we get me out of here? I think that we just died while in the inventory. So we'll just give this a second here. Yeah, okay, so we broke the game, cool. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Let's do this. Let's give it another shot here. So, search the cabinet. This is the same always, which, you know, it's not horrible. It's a pretty simple little process. Equip a flashlight. Come over here, tab, use the key, boom, open the door, and let's go. Okay, that worked. Good deal. This is a pretty common occurrence here, I've noticed. These are supposed to be randomized levels, but uh, a lot of times there is that fire extinguisher right there, which I'm not complaining about. You know, it might just be part of, like, the initial setup. Oh, that's common. Um, you know, just like the key flashlight thing, you get a fire extinguisher in the beginning. I don't mind. Some of the doors have some fire burning, like, at the bottom that prevents you from going through, so... Not the worst thing in the world to have a fire extinguisher. Okay... Uh, speaking of the devil, here we go. I really like the inventory change. Thank you for making that change. Yeah, and let's see what's in here. <laughs> so again, um, this recording is after some updates that the developer made. One of the, my biggest things, my biggest problems with the game before was that you could basically just run past everything because none of it made a difference. All the items and stuff, um, 
bottles of water, you know, just anything. First aid kits, bottles of water, uh, gas masks. You could run past all of it because uh, it didn't matter because the best thing you could do for yourself was just sprint to the next door. Um, and so I'm kind of testing to see if maybe um, the, the timer was altered a little bit. We have some more time. Sprinting isn't as important as thinking on your toes, which is, I think, what the developer is going after in a game like this. Forcing you to think about everyday objects that we take for granted as uh, more of a survival tool. I think um, these signs are all pretty new also, actually. I made a couple comments about that in uh, my prior videos about... That's just kind of code, right? Like, in, in the United States, it's code to have um, those exit signs to let people know where the exits are in case of a fire emergency. So that way they know exactly where to run. But... Anyway, um... Kind of lost here. Let's see what we can do. I think it's in there. I think I just glossed over it. Maybe not, dang. Brodal! We're gonna die here! I notice stuff like that sometimes. I don't know what it is. It looks like... Um, the sky. That's alright. Just, um... The developer added, like, some texture to the wall, and then, uh, didn't add connecting pieces. Or not, not like a texture, but, like, broke up the wall by bringing a piece out. Anyway, I just poured some water on myself. Hopefully that'll give us a couple more minutes here. Um, I think this one can be conceded to the game. I don't think we're gonna get it out this time. Which is good. This is more challenging before, uh, there was a pattern. And they're supposed to be randomly to generate. Here, here we go. Duh. Randomly. Okay. <laughs> randomly generated levels, and then I noticed that they weren't. Like, you could kind of go through after playing like three rounds, and it was almost just like procedurally generated. And, um, it was uh, predictable after a while. And so now it's. I'm not seeing the same thing. So, that's awesome. Okay, restart. Yes, please. Okay, this is going to be our last shot for this video. Flashlight key. Yes, give them to me. Equip. Key use. Okay. Oh, look trusty fire extinguisher and I I've um, never had okay so check this out see so go in here open the door you can use the sink to wet yourself down which um, <laughs> allows you to be in hot like a, like a burning up room for longer without dying due to heat but see how much time this takes come in here check the stalls yeah it sounds crazy but you find stuff look there's a first aid kit never needed one I don't even know what it'd be for. Unless there's, you know, like a gallon of burn cream in there and you just cover your entire body and run through a bottle of water. Again, the amount of time that it took to check for those things um, would have been better spent sprinting through... Come on now. Sprinting through the level um, to get to the next area faster before, you know, before the fire spread too much out of control. So we got an exit there, exit there. I'm going to go with this one. So while, yeah, I like the idea of, like, having to think on your toes and stuff, really the best way to think on your toes is just ignore everything and run. And now it seems like every door is an emergency exit. This is it right here, folks. So we got it. I don't know why I, I picked the doors that I did, but, um... Oh, it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Cool, so we do need a key. Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't know why I picked the doors that I did, but each each time we went through, it seemed faster to me. 
so we need a briefcase. Uh, there's a screenshot posted on Steam by the developer. It was part of the update where he kind of made everything make more sense. And there was a note, like an in-game note, like a person left to themselves saying, the key is in the briefcase, I need the key to get into the garage. I'm assuming that red door will get us into the garage. Although I don't see a briefcase because everything's on fire. <laughs> So yeah, even uh, without without beating this, um, this is a lot more enjoyable already. I think um, that the work that has been done to improve it is great, and I. But I do still think there is more to be done. Let's see this way, right? No, that's the way out. You can see here. Can I just drink the water so I stop coughing? Get a lot more wet. Was I wet before? That's confusing. See, I would keep a briefcase right here, right? On a desk. Or next to a desk. Now we're gonna die. You are dead. Killed by cough. I'll probably make some more of these um, in the future. I do like the work that has been done. I think um, it's heading in a great direction. And again, I'm very optimistic about this game. I love the idea. It, uh, to, it's unique to me. I've never seen a fire survival sim or you know whatever you want to classify this game as. But um, yeah, keep going. Uh, very promising. This has been Fire Survival. After some optimizations and game updates, today is November the 14th. The game is released on November the 2nd, so uh, some big improvements have already been made. You've been watching Atlas Gaming. Thank you very much. I'm developing this channel. I release content every day. Catch you in the next one.